A high-speed rocket launch is having made their debut at the Singapore Armed Forces' largest overseas exercise. It's one of its most complex integrated live firing operations involving over 500 personnel and engineers alongside fighter jets, drones and new digital tools. Sherlin's our reports from Exercise Wallaby in Australia. Rockets slicing across the horizon. At the heart of the action of this integrated exercise is this High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or High Mass Rocket Launcher. Thunderous blasts echoing all the way over here, even though we're situated more than 400 metres away from the launch site. Now, my crew and I, we had been instructed to wear ear protection, these earplugs over here, but even then, the booms cut through. It just goes to show the might of the high mass in delivering powerful strikes at range. The rocket launcher combines speed, accuracy and reach, firing at up to 85 kilometres an hour. It captures this year's mission focus, to see better, shoot faster. This exercise is about people, technology and partnership. It represents how the SAF constantly evolve ourselves to fight more effectively. In this exercise, we put together personnel from the different services together to operate as one integrated system to deliver sense and strike capabilities to the battlefield. Supporting fire comes from Apache attack helicopters, F-16 fighter jets, as well as V-15 unmanned aerial vehicles. That means one of the biggest challenges is airspace coordination. That concerns safety. So what we do uh, about 24 hours prior to uh, the mission timings, uh, we usually gather together, uh, both the Army and the Air Force. Uh, we deliberate uh, where we want to operate, what time we want to operate, how high we want to operate, and from there we'll draw our deconfliction plans accordingly so that we can all operate more integrated in the mission subsequently. New digital tools for intelligence also taking centre stage, like this 3D model of the entire site that helps with mission planning. There are also geospatial tools to update troops with what's happening on the ground in real time. Increasingly with digital technology, it is very important for us to use digital solutions to increase our speed and also accuracy to support the sense and strike operation. Increasingly we are having a lot more data, both in terms of quality and quantity. It is no longer possible for the human, the man in the loop, to be able to do the analysis required. The leaders add that all of this is made possible by Singapore's access to the extensive Shoalwater Bay training area, underscoring the strong defence partnership with Australia. Shalincia, CNA, Rockhampton, Australia.